Now that we reach subframe 5, as before we wait subframe 6 and we interrupt the render and we will check the difference. I just tell you already that will be not much different in the shadow, but who knows? Let's see. Let me check. Okay, this took 1 minute 49. Let's see the previous one. 1 minute 56. You notice something? Let me see. I see only on the window the difference, but actually it's the... I see only on the window there is some difference. I don't see difference in the shadow cast by the... not much different. To, to check this kind of uh, attribute, we should enable Final Guard, Global Illumination and everything, and we should uh, also use a very high resolution, not 800 by 600, but we should go to at least 2000 by 1005, but we don't have the time in the presentation now. Just remember the difference is subtle, it's not a such huge difference between the solid mode and the transparent mode of the environment lighting shadow. Okay. Since we were speaking about the environment lighting scale that when you use uh, together with the other mental ray lighting and rendering features you should uh, set to the default value of 0 0.3.8 it's not always like this because now i will show you in the other scene that we see dual, during all the tutorial which is the masterclass string cm which is the color management color managed scene if we open the string option settings you will you will see, let's, one second, okay. Now let's scroll down in the string. You see, the environment lighting scale is set to the default one, because in this, light, in this scene there are no lights, and there is no physical sky, there is nothing. The only way to, the only light contribution, as uh, we see earlier in the tutorial, in this presentation, comes from the HDRI image connect to the MIP look, lookup spherical node. And uh, now that we will use this scene to render and we will see the environment lighting scale, how it works, I would like to show you also the reason why I use the multiply divide node. In this scene, provide you more control. So let's... Uh, so just let's select the indirect lighting tab or the feature tab is up to you and check which features I enabled. As you can see, mostly from here, you see there is no physical sun and sky, no image based lighting. There's nothing. As we see yesterday, there is only the under the mental ray section of the camera, there is only the multiply divide node piped to the MIP lookup spherical node with the input in the multiply divide node I just input the default values 1 because I don't want to increase the light contribution through the multiply divide node by default I will just show you the result which is quite similar to the em environment lighting scale string option just to remind you connect to the MIB lookup spherical node there is the mental ray texture node and uh, and here, as I show you many times, there is the HDRI image. So what we will do now to speed up the rendering, first of all, we will go in the outliner like we did many times. Select set members and hide this, all the chairs and the tables that we don't need now to render. And then, as before, we will select the Mi Default Option node, open the String Option one more time, and uh, scroll down like always, and go down to the Environment Lighting, first to the Irradiance Particle to enable again, I'm sure it's, uh, it's disabled. Let's see. Yeah, disabled again. Okay, whatever. So, true. Enter. 
And then we scroll down to the environment lighting IBL string options. And here there is the scale, lighting mode, quality, shadow, scale, set to the default value 1. We will, uh, to increase the speed of the render, like we did before, under the Features tab, we will go Brute Force, no global illumination, no final gather. And uh, since it keeps switching off, I will switch off again the irradiance particle. Also because this scene is uh, quite slower than the previous masterclass uh, string scene. So just open the render view panel and select a region with the chalkboard, a few window, and let's see what happened. Hit render. As before we open the this is a brute force ap approach, so will be not interpolated, will be quite rough. It's just to show you that with this uh, scene, you can go, you can increase the light contribution from two different, in two different ways. One is with the environment lighting scale, that in this scene defaults to one. You see the progressive rendering already start, so everything is fine. I think we will reach frame 5 in uh, just a few seconds. Subframe, sorry. So let's see. Another few seconds. The other way to increase the light contribution we will use uh, for comparison. We will use the multiply divide node. Here we are already frame 6. Let's stop the render. Now before to do that we will increase uh, the environment lighting scale to the value 8. And let's see what happens. We will increase the light in a quad quadratic exponent, okay? So let's see what happens. Here we go. As you can see, it's very bright. The scene, very contrast. There's a high contrast between light and shadow because uh, as I told you before, we are going brute force. As I told you before, I also like brute forces. I like high contrast in the pictures, in the image. But this is just for a preview and to show you how to use the environment lighting scale uh, string option. Let's render a little bit more. In this case, since it's very fast, we go to frame 10. Let's say 10 to see what are the results. Ma maybe better not, maybe just frame 5 or 6 subframe will be enough. So here we are, correct? Yes. Stop the render. Stop. OK. And now we reduce the output window and we will uh, check the difference between the previous light environment lighting scale value and this one. You see the difference? quite bright. Eh? I guess in this scene uh, maybe you don't need the value 8 but the value 4 is more than enough. If not you you got burn highlights near the window so let's say we input the value 4 but uh, yeah we can check if the value 4 is the optimal. One second and, uh, and render again. As you can see, the value 4 is, uh, I guess, the optimal value for this uh, light, for this scene, and for this lighting and rendering setup. So, let's see how many frames already, subframes already rendered. 3. As usually, we go to 5. Wait one second. And then we will try the other workflow to increase the light contribution through the multiply divide node. So at least you see why I pipe that node connect between the mid blue cap spherical and the camera. So here we are. Stop the render. Let's compare one second the three different results, lighting setups. So the with the environment lighting scale set to four is perfect. Eight is overexposed. And uh, 
one is definitely underexposed. So what we will do now is uh, input again the default value 1 in the environment lighting scale. Default for this scene, okay, because usually the default like uh, Dagon suggests when you use mental ray nodes, other mental ray nodes, uh, is 0 0.318. And uh, what we will do to, to check the other workflow is usually select camera and under the perspective shape, scroll down one more time, mental ray section. And here, the multiply divide node, we will set to the value 4, which was the optimal value input in the environment lighting scale uh, string option. Let's see what happens if we render, if it's similar. Remember that we just uh, put put back the default value in the environment lighting scale uh, string option. So now it's only the multiply divide not the drive that increase the light contribution. So let's see what happens. Seems to be similar to the previous result, but we have to wait frame subframe 5 to say that it's similar. Now it's only 2. So wait uh, just a few seconds and we will know if by using the multiply divide node we get the same result as the environment lighting scale in this scene. Another 20 seconds, not more than this. So I guess here we are. Let's interrupt the progressive sampler. Stop it here. And now we will compare the result by increasing in the multiply divide node the input to fields. As you can see, it's quite similar. This is the with the multiply divide node. You can see render time one minute. Let's see with the environment lighting scale set to four. It's quite similar, as you can see. This is with the multiply divide node, and this is with the environment light scale. It's just to have a to have another option, okay? Instead only of the environment lighting scale uh, string option, and to show you that. Now is only the multiply divide node that drive the main line contribution. I will reset the default values to one, and the image should be dark again. Let's see if it's true. As you can see, the image is dark again, like we say before. Please take a note. You see the input two values fields of the multiply divide node are reset to the default value 1 and more the progressive sample sampler is uh, cleaning up the image you will see that uh, the, the image is quite dark and I would like to con compare the image with the previous one ah, we can stop already and let's compare with the first with the first image that we create with the environment lighting scale set to 1. This one, correct? Let's see. Quite similar, as you can see. One more time. The, the good thing uh, of the environment lighting scale is that, uh, you see, it doesn't burn outside the window, which also which is a very good thing, but if you use other method, maybe you could find out that outside, uh, the environment outside, the background picture you're using, get burned, wash out. But both uh, ways to increase the light contribution are quite similar. would like to remind you that being myself a former fashion photographer, in the, when I was doing that, when I was a photographer in Milano, uh, when we do fashion shots, we pre we prefer definitely the underexposed images. in in our ca in our case was light, positive, and uh, instead than the overexposed, because uh, underexposed you always can correct, and uh, with the lab laboratory can help you to correct the the image. But uh, when it's overexposed, it's more difficult. In also for three D, 
it works the same way because even this image is very dark don't forget that you can still go in the under the display enable the color management of the render view panel and here if you go to the linear you see now we get a clear image bright it's a little bit dull and flat but i mean you can still increase the contrast here you see and the exposure you can you see you can definitely make it look better we will now reset the image color profile by default to the default sRGB gamma correct and we will input 0 which is the default again just to be sure that later when we preview the image will be correct because now we will explore the progressive rendering string options settings so we will just open again the PDF document and uh, we will scroll down a little bit to the mental ray 3.8 progressive rendering string option settings so uh, first we don't need to to try because on and off means it turns on on or off the progressive rendering sampler the second one is the sub sampling size and it, it enables and control the coarse sampling of the first images. The default is zero for disable. Value greater than one activates subsampling in block of pixels. The value specifies the size of the pixel blocks where initial samples are placed at first, typi typically displaying as a coarse image with the impression of lower resolution. Please note that values of let me use this values of 0 or 1 inputs will disable this feature means the block of pixel will not appear means will be like we just rendered before will be many dots will be not uh, we will not see block of pixel and also please note that the the progressive rendering string option doesn't change the lighting solution or contribution in our scene it, it just control the time of the rendering and the appearance of the first subframes that appear uh, because it's mostly a sampler it's not uh, he have no influence on the main lighting in the scene so so without to switch back to the to the previous scene we will do everything here in the master clustering cm scene we will not switch to the previous master class string scene so just one more time select the mid default option and uh, and again we will go brute force which is very fast and will help us to to render our image very fast so after the IBL environment lighting string option start the progressive string option from string option 34 in, in our case okay 